This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We're about to play today's art <laughs> challenge for Nathan, Nat and Sean's art school. A very special mm. drawer uh, today. The Prime Minister is going to be drawing. Nathan's going to be guessing. Sean's going to be drawing this end and I'm going to be guessing. So that's yeah. the two teams. So, Elbow, I know I'm really ordinary doing this kind of stuff. How do you rate? Oh, Rubbish. Yeah, oh, rubbish. Okay, there's two of us, right? To I, I keep going into uh, childcare centres because we've got the fifteen percent wage <laughs> increase coming uh, yeah. for and and I'll do a little drawing and I'll show a little three year old and say what, what do you think? And they always go, Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah. nah. They no lock the play doh away from him. We're playing no for people at home. Um Jake from Bassendine, hello. How are you going? Hey, good, Jake. Jake. Now you get to choose. Do you want to be represented? You don't have to do anything. You're just a, a passive um, a participant, but you have to choose a team. Do you want Nathan and the Prime Minister, or do you want me and Sean? I'll have to go for Nathan and the Prime Minister. Right. Yeah. I mean, how often do you have the Prime go, Minister doing Very wise. Things? You're the first choice. Um, Dan from Churchlands, hello. Morning, guys. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. You've got me and Sean as AKA your representatives. The okay. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. We'll do our best to win you $500, though, won't okay. we, Natalie? All right, here's what's going to happen. So <laughs> yeah. um, Nathan and I have to take our We're headphones off. We're not allowed off. to hear. That's right. You're going to hear the answer at home. That's right. Yeah. And then um, Sean and Albo are going to hear what they're going to be drawing for the first round, yeah. Yeah. and then the drawing begins. Albo, may I hand you the thickest text you'll ever see? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nathan, we'll I got it. Out here. Yeah, okay. It's going to come on now, Albo. We'll hear what we need to oh, draw. Oh, so we get told what to draw. Right. Yeah. Here we go. I, I, I've been giving all this thought into what I was going to draw. <laughs> you got no choice. Here it is. Harry's going to play it for here, us. Here we go. The Prime Minister's dog, Toto. Okay, that's the first one. All right, no, no. We're good. Come okay. back. Sir. Are you guys okay. ready to draw? Appro yeah. Okay. Approach the... Tell us when we're on, Harry, now. Three, two, one. Start drawing. Um, it's a, a pie, dog. It's a cookie. It's a cow. It's a, it's, it's a face. It's a dog. A dog, a puppy. A dog. It is a pig. A toto. It yeah! is a pig. <laughs> you know your dog. <laughs> you know your dog does not look like that. We're live on. <laughs> if that looked like that and came into your yard, you would destroy it. We're live on Instagram, <laughs> everybody, if you want to see the action. Drawing, All right, round two, round two. Mate, right, mate, use your gestures. Over round two, round two. It's going to be Nathan's going away. Yeah, Smell of ink. It's nice, isn't it? Okay. Okay, ready for the Here next one? Here we go, Okay, here we go. Framed photo of Nathan, Nat and Sean on a mantle. Albo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back, Nathan. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Okay, it's a... Okay. All right, three, two, one, start drawing. Go, go, It's Parliament House. It's a door. It's a... It's a... It's the lodge. Okay, it's people. They're people. Are they people? What is that? They're flower. It's a flower garden. It's a tree. A wedding? A wedding. It's a... It is... Family. It's a family photo. A graduation. A flag. A school. What is that? Oh, uh, God. That is, is it, it Jody? No. It's a football team. Okay, that's a... Okay, that's a... Uh, <laughs> what's the number? <laughs> the lodge? Number eight. Is it the lodge? Is it Kira Belly Hat? Is it the... Is it, is it dinner at the lodge? Is it us at the lodge? Us having dinner at the lodge? Is it us eating in... Is it us in camp? We keep doing that. It's, um... What is... Okay, so that's... We're in here. We're in the dining room. Okay. okay, okay. okay. The dining room. Oh, no, the dining, dining, a, party, a dinner party. Oh, <laughs> oh, a dinner party. Oh my god! A dinner party. No. Briefcase. What no, is no, that? No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm just doing it apart. So then there's okay. this. Okay. Is this it a? Person. What is what's that? It's a person. It's, it's holding oh. that. What are they? Oh, I need two five seconds. You need so that's okay. that. <laughs> Is that it? Okay, nah, right. okay, that, that's enough. That's uh, enough. What was that? We give up on that. What and was that? That, that was terrible. There were lots frame. of infringements going on as well during that round of yeah. okay, infringements. Oh, that's that, that picture was the, frame of the man the, frame of you. Look. Picture of you guys. Sean, can you just... I just didn't see no, what you look at No, no, don't. Look no, no, don't. <laughs> we just have, we have to keep moving. Let's go. <laughs> that's basically what he did too. Yeah. <laughs> terrible. Righto, next round. Okay, Nathan, that block your ears. Give me that. Hold. Please hold to start drawing, Mr. Prime Minister. Hold, oh. hold your horses, hold your horses. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. Record player. Oh. Okay, Nathan, come back. Three, two, one, go. Oh, He's off. Is <laughs> a pizza oh. flag. Um, it is um, a centre circle. It's a record player. Yeah. Oh, oh it's Natalie Luck. It is too. 
Where are we? Back one. Johnston. We're doing one, one, one more, sir. So I'm guessing they're all themed at that elbow? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a fair head Okay, start. block your ears. Okay, okay, here we go. Hold tight on the drawing. Hold tight. Here we go. Here we go. Peter Dutton. Okay, Nathan, come back. Oh. And start drawing. Go, 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 go. Peter go. Dutton. Yes, <laughs> Peter Dutton. <laughs> Once you work out the rules, it's easy. <laughs> hey, good Why news. Why picture look like a giant turd? Good news for you, Dan. You've you scored can't. $500. All thanks to Good Arts, Good Mental Health. Dan, easiest money you've ever made. Well done, Dan. Dan, OK. okay. I told right, you so. Peter Dutton just looks like a testicle. Yes. <laughs> but what was your first guess? Potato. <laughs> oh, come on, um, Prime oh, Minister, thank you so funny. much for joining us this thank morning. Yes, yeah, we yes. can autograph yes. that. Yes. Of course, please. of course, we want that. Thank you. Um, brilliant work. There you go. <laughs> Coming up next. One one. Let's just hope that's not his official prime ministerial portrait. No, that's right. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. What's your love language? Um, human touch. <laughs> <laughs> What's your love language? Do you know what I'm talking about? Dancing. <laughs> but what you dance for you Megan, dancing, or yeah, Megan yeah. dances for you? No, I dance the, for Megan. It's you dance mm, for the Megan. forbidden dance. Yeah, <laughs> oh, always. Yeah. The Paso Doble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, 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 I tell you what, it gets them going. No, are you, are I you, like are a you, kind you, gesture. A kind, a gesture, kind gesture is gesture. nice. What about acts of service? Yeah, I guess that that falls into the kind gesture. Acts doesn't of it? service. Uh, here's an acts of service. What day was it? It was last Friday, and I went outside to mow the back lawn mm. unasked, and then I got yelled at. What was this, your ass? Oh, uh, yes. Unasked. Unasked. Oh. <laughs> With a, sorry. Without <laughs> having been asked. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking. I thought you were at the back of his muscles. Chat to don't, don't worry about the love language. Let's let's cover off the English language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Like, no, what are you great. doing? Mm. No, but my thing would be from me and her love language to me, definitely, would it's easy as, just make me dinner. Oh, yeah, so food. Yeah, food yeah, is the one yeah. that gets you yeah. across yeah. the line. Yeah. On time. I do say on it's time. the w- <laughs> yeah. food got, and punctuality. So, I mean, we've got some people that gifts, that, you know, yeah. and, and it's it's whether buying gifts is their love language mm. for yep. you or receiving gifts mm. is, is is a love language. Yeah. Katy Perry, she was on a down uh, podcast called Call Her Daddy uh, where she... <laughs> They've run out of good names, haven't they? <laughs> ...was talking about the love language that she responds to the most. Mm-hmm. Um, and we all know who her partner mm-hmm. is, Orlando. Bloom. Yeah. She got a bit naughty though. Mm -hmm. This is what she had to say. If I come downstairs and the kitchen is clean and you've done it all and you've done all the dishes and you've closed all the pantry doors, you better be ready to get your socks. I mean, like, literally, (laughs) that is my love language. I don't need a red Ferrari. I can buy a red Ferrari. Just do the dishes. I will suck your Yeah. It's that easy. It is easy. It is that easy. And cheaper. Um, <laughs> I love how she had, if all the pantry doors are closed. How many pantry I mean, doors does she have? But that, that that seems to be her trigger point is is the pantry doors. Yes. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? That's yeah. an interesting thing to say. Yeah, yeah. It's because all it's like, the pantry so doors. somebody leaves the pantry door open all the time. Yeah. This is the best way to be, isn't it? To find out that your partner likes just something simple. Mm. And then, but you know what? If your partner wants that simple thing, usually if they want it so badly, it's because you never do it. Yeah, that's what, right. Yeah, that's right. Scott, you're a bona fide lover around mm, town. Mm. Um, uh, <laughs> what, it's true, it's true. <laughs> what, we'll go with what, it. What's your love? What can yes. someone What can someone do for you that's not like a gift or or something you know traditionally romantic that you go yes? I big advocate for love languages. Yeah. Mm. Uh, touch oh. is my primary love language. Yes. yes. But I'm fluent in all five. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> messy. Yeah. But I like I'm like a sucker for just like. A holding a hand or... Oh, a bit of a PDA. Even. Yeah. Or not so like, public or not just even at PDA. home? I'm not against that either, but like... <laughs> so say, just say, hold say, my hand say, under say, the table say, and say, I'm yeah. like... Oh, like, yeah. like, like would, would, put your hand behind my back as we walk through yeah. a door. Even like, so, say if you're dinner and just like you're sitting next to her and then under the table, even just your little pinkies link, yeah. is that, yeah. a, lot, is that yeah. a lot for you? Yeah. Pe- the, I mean, a bit lame, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least hold my hand, like yeah, yeah, yeah. a nice yeah. good Can grip be... or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's. What At least hold my on. hand and call me by the right name. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Scott says. Fair minimum. Fair minimum. That's it. That's all uh-huh. I want.
So we're talking about well, love languages, really. Yeah. Um, Katy Perry says that um, if she comes downstairs and all the dishes are done and the pantry doors are closed, which is clearly a touch yep, point, yep. Mm. Um, then that's it. She is. Well, she's actually about. she's actually said that she will give Orlando yes. Bloom a special pants kiss. Yes, that's right. God, you'd be. You'd what, be shutting those pantry doors. Every, oh, <laughs> you'd be buying many cupboards that you set up oh, from IKEA. Put another door in. Hey, put another pantry in. Look I'm going to shut the, that look one look too. Look at all the shut doors. Look at them. No, look we're taking them. presents off. Because presents, I mean, that's obvious. But yeah. um, uh, we're taking that off the table. But Gemma, what gets you going? Oh, when my husband thinks for himself. <laughs> <laughs> that's like impossible. Who is this guy? So, so he needs to check the calendar first before asking me what we have on would be great. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Look for something in the kitchen first yeah. before asking me where it is. Oh. <laughs> but it's easier because you know. You know all the answers. Yeah. Oh, the mental load. He has all the answers. <laughs> Everything's there for men to have, but they just like to ask us the questions. No, but As Gemma. we don't have everything else on our face. Gemma. Th- Whoever asked the most amount of questions, the answers belong to them eventually. So no, that's why no, he's no. constantly asking. No. no. He's they, you know what it is? They, they, they look at the calendar. They live itself. in the same house. I'm guessing you live in the same house for the same amount of time. So you both should know where the yeah, sticky yeah, tape is. Have, the case. We all have the school app. We all have the school app that gives us notifications of what's happening. Yeah. He knows how to open that up and check. It and check. <laughs> he doesn't need me to tell him. So when he when it's the perfect the perfect day or the perfect is when he's done everything for himself and he's mm. thought about it. Yep. And I don't have to oh when they go get a when they go shop and buy a birthday present for a kid's party. Yes. Like, that is the winner right there. That's right yeah, there. That, that's, that's what about on the flip side? What, what does he like you doing for him? He probably would like a little bit more attention in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, so, so he wants the pants uh, kiss? Yes. <laughs> and also, he, he wants all the answers you know to all his what? questions. Yeah. That would happen if I didn't have the mental load. Yes, if yes, uh, you weren't so uh, exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, yeah mm. Sean, she said mental load. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, Gemma, thank you. Sean I can hear the frustration in your voice. <laughs> Good yeah. luck. Uh, Brendan's in Italy. Hello. Hey, how are you? All hey, right, Brendan. Brendan. Okay, what's your love language? What do you What do you just love a partner to do for you? Well, I used to go to boarding school, and the first thing we had to do at boarding school was make the bed. Yeah. But I get up at 4.20 every morning. I get home about 6 o'clock. Yes. As soon as I step foot out of the bed, sheets pulled back, bed made, pillows fluffed. He's still asleep in bed. I get home at six o'clock in the evening, and literally, he side of the bed not made. <laughs> somebody has been sleeping alone all night. <laughs> Brendan, and that just like oh, I so Brendan, you so make you, your side of the oh, bed. That's when really you get well up. That's so, so funny. You come home and the bed is made. Then my it, side's made. My yeah, side's no, not. no, no. But if you come home and the entire bed's made, that is it. You, you're you like be, you, you you'd are. You'd be yes. so happy. That's like the happiest day because nothing better than laying on a fresh bed, fluffed pillows, and going, what a crap day I actually had. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Brendan, talk to me about the cushion situation on your bed. Are you, like, um, under about 20 cushions? Well, I can sleep with one. He has to sleep with six. <laughs> He's between, one between his legs, yeah. one between us, yeah. one on his head, <laughs> and on another head. one by the side. Wait, then one, <laughs> one on his head? One on his head. Yeah, so one under his head, presumably. No, in the tra- his, no, no, no in the yeah. traditional what? position. And then one, so he's a sandwich, essentially. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sandwiches so he sandwiches his head. T- pillows on both sides, yeah. by his knees, on his head, and he, he lays on one as well. Can and I, I say, Brendan, um, I'm sure you're very happy, but it sounds like he's barricading himself. One hundred percent. He's creating a barricade so you can't get to it. Yeah, 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 the yeah, barrier in the middle... <laughs> He doesn't want to hear you. He doesn't want to be touched by you. (laughs) Anyway, good luck with your relationship. (laughs) Yeah. I know we get along very, very well. We love each other. But he can't handle being touched or stroked. It yeah. just literally sends him crazy. Well, that's yeah. upsetting that he can't handle yes. being stroked. Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nat, and Sean in podcast form. Five deserving local football clubs across Australia will receive $50,000 worth of products and materials as AFL partner Bunnings announces applications are open. By the way, you can take uh, make the most of this in all sporting clubs and particularly the football so clubs. Home Ground Advantage Grants Program. Yeah, That's how cute, good is that? It's mm. fantastic. Tim Kelly from the West Coast Eagles will be spruiking this. Sports morning, Tim. <laughs> good morning, guys. How are we going? Hey, Tim. Um, I love going to Bunnings, firstly. Um, <laughs> what, what, what is the aisle when you're at Bunnings that you always seem to do a little bit to. of a run down? 
Yeah, um, oh, actually always down the rodent aisle. Um, yeah, <laughs> right, like you? the yeah. uh, rat and Pest stuff like that. Stuff, a bit yeah. Bad. yeah, a bit bad out, 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 out my way where I stay, so... Always going there for traps and things yeah. like that. So, I, I always uh, do a run. Yeah, you can get anything there. Yeah, yeah. I always do a run past the door handles. I don't know why. Just like, <laughs> you never like, know. Just you ca- keep just your options open. I always open. like to see what cabinet handles they've got. Yeah. I don't know what that's <laughs> hey, about. Hey, Tim, you're, a, you're living semi-rurally, aren't you? You're on a few acres? Yeah. 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 You, you, need, you need a couple nice. of cats. That'll sort the rats out. I oh, know. I do need a couple. I've got a dog, but yeah. um, he's a bit old now. So, yeah, might have to, might have to get a couple of cats. Yeah, couple They're of in aisle cats. 59 at Bunnings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tim, what junior football club did you play before you ended up at South Fremantle? Yeah, I'm, I was a uh, Palmyra Junior Footy Club, oh, so Pally oh. Demon. Yeah. Um, yeah so, Sorry, um, East Fremantle yeah, zone. For our district. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, um, no, grassroots footy is, is, is big for me, so um, I was more than happy to be be involved in uh, in this campaign, this partnership that um, you know Bunnings and, and the AFL have set up. I think it's a it's a great campaign, um, you know, for for local um, local footy clubs, the junior yeah. footy clubs, to sort of to apply. And you know, a fifty thousand um, dollar grant can do wonders for for junior footy clubs. Oh, yeah, that goes so, a long way. All the equipment and stuff, new barbecue and yeah. <laughs> facilities, and things like that. Yeah. So um, no, it's an amazing initiative. Hey, Tim, um, tough year for you guys. Has been for a number of years since, so you're on the lookout for a new coach, that being the West Coast Eagles. I did see that um, the people are throwing around different names all the mm-hmm. time. I'm sure they come to you and ask you where you stand on this. Uh, is it the stock standard answer? It is, mate. Um, <laughs> it is the stock standard answer. You know, everyone's got a role to play at the club, and mine is obviously um, on, on the field. So, um, yeah, I just um, – I'm watching eagerly. I'm, I'm obviously um, – you know, there's there's a fair bit of excitement that comes around around change. You know, obviously, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of interest. Know, um, yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, we need to fill the position of our head coach. So there's excitement around that. I'm watching pretty eagerly, but at the same time, I've got um, you know um, different priorities that are hmm. keeping me pretty busy um, outside of footy. But I'm certainly watching um, eagerly. That's for sure. Tim Kelly, I mean, so many people are asking you who you think the coach should be. I'm going to ask you the question: Who do you think the coach shouldn't be? <laughs> <laughs> well, it shouldn't be. Yeah, <laughs> who's, who's the last person you want for Sean in his career? It would be Chris Connolly. Yeah. Oh, Damien Drums. <laughs> uh, and Damien oh, Drums. I'm going yeah. to go Damien with Damien Drum. first. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there anyone you would definitely not want to be coached by? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a that's a tough question. Um, yeah, I, I don't really want to pot shot anyone. So I, I you need to. I mean, don't be afraid of myself. it. Um, I, I have seen like Channel Nine this morning are saying that you have thrown your weight behind Jared Schofield. So. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, look. You know, I think um, they sort of um, they sort of talked me into um, you know having, I guess, a, <laughs> an, an opinion. opinion on yeah. it. And, yeah. You know, not, you know, I'd, I'd be lying if you know if I didn't um, if I didn't put his name forward. I think he's done a hell of a job since since he since he took took over. And yeah. you know, I've had a close relationship with him for um, for a couple of years now as a, as a midfield coach, and um, sort of had a bit to do with him in the waffle. Um, this is before AFL as well. So, um, yeah, I've I got a good relationship. Um, you know, I, I think he brings a lot. And I think the last couple of weeks, um, uh, I think the, the playing group really let him down. I don't think that was a... Um, yeah, no failing of really his. Yeah. the work that he, he brought forward. But, yeah, I just I just threw that out there. But at the end of the day, you know, yeah. it's not me who makes yeah. these decisions. It's up to the club and it's in good hands. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very confident the club will get the best candidate. Um, to come in and fill that position. So Will Schofield was saying that he expects Stephen King to be able mm. the novelist. Nathan, can yeah. you believe yeah. that? Yeah. To be able to uh, take over the Christine. job. Christine, Christine, yeah, um, Pet Cemetery. Great book. But also, but on Fox last night on the footy shows, they were talking that Andrew McWalter's the front yeah. runner at this stage, and he sat in the Richmond chair for a little bit when Damien Hardwick skid the wheels. It's the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. We are talking. <laughs> What are we talking about? About brazen crimes. Yeah. It's done out in the open in front of any, everybody. Nobody bats an eyelid when it, it happens. It seems to be the clever way to do it. Mm. Uh, that's how you get a car. Yeah. Um, a bra- that's how you get like a collector Commodore yeah. um, with a tow truck. Just drag oh, it away. Yeah. Or a whole smoke machine in your case, yeah. Nath. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, Taylor's in Byford. Hello, Taylor. Hello, how are you going? Hi, Good buddy. So we're talking about brazen crimes. What happened? Uh, so a couple of years ago, I used to work for a, I was a tire store. I used to work for a tire store. Mm-hmm. Um, and during during the day, so we at, at the front of the tire store, we have these tire racks that display all your yes, yeah, tires and stuff. Yeah, part of the ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah. And this guy basically came into the shop, 
Um, he'd taken a tyre off the rack and put it in the boot of his car. Yeah. Um, and then came back about five, ten minutes later into the shop and asked us to fit the tyre onto his car. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get away with it, Taylor? Did you realise? <laughs> no, we the tire it was the, the tire was a completely wrong size and everything for the car. It wasn't even the right, and nothing was right for the car. So. <laughs> and he said, "I can have a refund then." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, what oh, the balls that to is, do that? That's yeah. audacity. That's so funny. Oh, okay, you know Amazing. what? That, that would have been a fun week at work. You would have been I talking don't. about that all week. Yeah, good That's work. Great. Thanks, Taylor. Uh, Steve's in Swanview. Hello. Morning, guys. How you going? Hey, good hey to Steve. Have you been the victim of a brazen crime, Steve? Yeah, I have two. So the first one's really quickly. My yeah. old golf club, I was there early in the morning. Two guys rocked up in a, just yellow polo shirts, walked into the bar, took the massive flat screen TV off the wall what? and walked out, put it in the van, and off they went. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that's this? The at the golf, golf club. At the golf club. Look, at the golf club, at the golf club, yeah. Yeah, but that's the golf club. The yellow polos got you, got them yeah. over the, the line. yellow polos, yeah. Okay. Now, the, now, the one that's more crazy is um, uh, I work at uh, the park and the group uh, next door to us uh, – Two guys rocked up in a van, and over the over five days, stole all the copper wiring. Oh no What's way! The fact that and they're that was, there for five was, days. What? Yeah, literally stole. I don't know how. And literally, that poor little community group had could had nothing. Literally, it didn't even know happened. Mm. Yeah, and they stole all the copper wiring, which is like twenty thousand dollars worth of copper wiring. So, Bam, oh, but like, yeah. like you know, like five days shift, like a five yes. days, like five yeah. days of of constant stealing, and people would have seen them and probably said, "Oh, hey, right. young, yeah. hey, young guys, oh yeah, good, oh hotter than yesterday, hey, I yeah, know." Yeah. <laughs> like, we'd have had a conversation with yeah, some people. Absolutely, God, that's amazing. Confidence is key, criminals. The are you listening? Audacity. Thank you, Steve. Linda's in Woodbridge. Hello. Hi. How are you going? Good, Hi, Linda. Linda. Yeah. Hi. Um, I, my story's a little bit similar to Nathan's. Yeah. I used to work at a bar in Northbridge. Yes. Um, well, in the city Spirit Sound Bar, it's called. Oh, yeah, yeah I used to go to Spirit oh, Sound yeah, Bar. Good yeah. times. Yeah, 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 well, I used to be the bar supervisor there, and so we used to have, like, um, after-work drinks and things like that and have functions, and mm. then we'd go into a bit more of a clubby kind of feel before yeah. people yes. would go out. Yeah, and a couple of guys came in and walked out with one of our Chesterfield couches, oh. and the bouncers actually held the doors open for them as they walked out with it. <laughs> so what did they say to the bouncers? So did they good. say anything at all, or what? They just walk- oh, yeah, can you just help give us a hand, yeah. mate? Give us a hand. <laughs> yeah, thanks, <laughs> mate. Hold the door there, mate. Dressed, looking like they were ready just to help us out yeah. in the bar, which was not uncommon around that time. We'd move furniture back yeah. around, so. So yeah, wait there, let me get this straight. So um, a Chesterfield, and that would have been a Chesterfield for a club, so they're mm. a little bit more expensive because they're going to be heavy mm. in yeah, ju- duty. Leather, yeah, so, so four what? Grand four worth. grand. Four grand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. They've, they've walked out with it. Did they put it in a truck? What did they do with it? No idea because it took me a little, <laughs> it took us a little bit of a while to work to out notice. what had happened until we went back to the footage and like, what the hell? And so is... we couldn't see on the street. Yeah. Okay. But, Linda, um, you know what it yeah, is. Yeah, no, just walked straight out with it. Confidence. Yeah. Linda, it, it's not just confidence. And I think, we, and you talked about the bouncers just then as well. It's getting someone to help you. You've got to drag people mm. into You've it. You've got to drag other mm. people in yeah. because then it shows, no, criminals don't ask for yeah. help yeah, if no, they're being right. sneaky. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. We are discussing when you get that phone mm. call, where it's like, um, or, you know, a knock on the door. Yeah. Um, your partner's doing the dirty. Yeah. Face yeah. to face mm. or over the phone just ripping someone's life from under them. Yeah, so mm. I happened to a guy I knew that he was the third wheel, but he was the person who was the long term. Who was the original one? Yeah, so yep, yeah, yep, the others yep. were the yep. two yeah. sides. And you invested so much in that partner, like they were full on. Oh, yeah, they'd been together yeah, for some for, time, for, for yeah. some time. Yeah, that's hey, guys, tough. let's go to Owen. Hi, Owen. Hey, hey guys, Owen. how's it going? Yeah, good, good Owen. Buddy. Right, okay. Owen. So, has this happened to you, Owen? Yeah, so um, years ago when I was living in Tassie, I lived in Beacon. Little country town. Yep. And actually, you know, met someone online, blah, blah, blah. Um, they used to come down from Smithton. It's, you know, almost four hours drive. Yeah. And, you know, one thing went to another. We end up dating we'll together for almost a year. And I just thought, you know what? I've never been to their hometown. So yeah. made the trek, you know, for our drive up to them. Huh. And everyone was in shock. And I was <gasps> like, oh, yeah, you know, it's a shock that, you know, I drove up there and whatnot. And we were just at a supermarket and the supermarket attendant, um, wrote someone's address on the back of my RFC and she said, I think you need to go speak to this person. This and like, is the best. And I looked at my partner I was like, yes. okay, that's a bit sus, but, you know, I come from a small country town, so I was like, I'll take the hint. Yeah. So while my partner went to work, I went and knocked on this door and I said, hi, um, I got told I need to speak to you about such and such. And they were like, yeah. I'm like, 
you know, what, what, what's the going? They're like, well, they're my fiance. I was like, <gasps> okay. Whoa, Owen. So mummy asking, how long have you been together for? And they're like, oh, coming on four years. I was <sighs> like, cool. Right, I'm like, well, we've been together a year. <sighs> and they just looked at me and like, sorry. I'm like, and they invited me in. They were a little bit shocked. They went bright red, near, like shaking angry. But then they're like, look, I'm sorry. I said, look, stream shout, do what you need to do. And they're like, are you sure? Like, and I said, you're not just, you know, his mate joking. I said, well, here's the text messages. You know, feel free to have a read through. I've got nothing to hide. Oh, I, I have nothing to hide. I said, I'm sorry. Oh, I have nothing to hide. I said, but, you know, you deserve to know the truth. And to this day, me and that person are still friends, even though, you know, I live in WA. They're still back in Tassie. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we then later on found out that his best friend was also another side piece oh. that was, just someone there for when he was bored. How many sides do you need I with know. the main, really? And also in a small country town. That's, oh, so like, this is the thing. Yeah. I want to break this down. She takes you home to where she lives fully... I mean, she would, ha- she would have to have been trying he? to... He. Hey, he. Hey. No, 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 no. They, 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 didn't, they didn't take me home to where they live. Okay. I rocked up. You went to visit. Okay. Yes. I was going to yeah. surprise. I drive yeah. five, so yeah. that was a shock. Yeah. So, 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 when when they found out that you had rocked on the tent, was there? Did you sense panic from them? I when I seen his when I seen when I seen his parents, his parents were like, "Oh, so this is your friend from you know Beaconsfield," and I'm yep. like, um, "Partner, but okay, because that's okay. you know, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Town, yep. you know, you know, being you know being a gay couple yes. in country town, I thought, oh yeah, friends, like I'll be for that." I'm used to that term being thrown around, like you know, as, you know, cat in a sack. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was just like when I when when that sh- and it was a shop like I think it was like a small IGA or yeah, a small yeah, blues yeah. or something. I can't remember what they had at the time. Yeah. They wrote it down, and that should be a small, you know, mining town. It sounds also. like it would have been the good grocer. Um, they do good things. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, the, we don't have that in Tassie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're not, they're not that fancy. It definitely maybe. wasn't the good grocer. No, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is oh, the, no, so. When, so when, when, when you so when you he's, invi- he's invited you in to their house, was it weird for you to suddenly were you spotting photos of them around and realizing wait there's a life here? So when when I went so at the parents' house because that, that's the address I know. Okay. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of photos okay. of. My partner, yeah. um, because they've moved out years ago. But okay. when I went to the fiance's house, yeah, there was photos of them with their yeah, friends. So it was fully um, established pets, life together, you know, yeah. all that. And I was like, wow, it, it was surreal. And I sort of took a step back, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, you know, because you hear about it, you read about it, and it's like, okay, don't overreact because you're feeling a certain way about this. And in my mind, I'm like, well, we've only been together a year. Yeah, the person sitting in front of me, that crying in anger. Oh, yeah. yeah, but that, that anger could be yeah. taken Four out on you. Yeah, oh, I know. So I, yeah, we, we, exactly. I yeah, know we've got to get to news, but we've got to, we've got to get to the end of this. So you've, you've, you've dropped this bombshell. What happened next with the partner? Did they come What What happened next? So they were due to get home around 5.30 back to their parents' house. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we both rocked up at the parents' house and just sat there in the living room waiting. Oh! oh. oh. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. The 2024 Toyota AFL Premiership Cup Tour is on at the moment. We've got the ambassador with us, none other than the big show himself, Josh Kennedy. JK, how are you? I'm good. What's JK. going on? It's been a while since I've been in here. Yeah, we, but we saw you in the news last night doing the whole thing, and yep. bang, what? jump on the um, plane and off you go. Yeah. Private, so, private imagine, plane on no, private, no, private, private jet. Plane. No, no, no. So I was over in Melbourne yesterday. Um, yeah, had the, obviously, finals launch, which was pretty cool. So I'd be able to get back to the MCG. And the launch was actually in the change room. So I haven't been in there since the 2018 <laughs> Grand Final. Wow. Days, so, which better, is, or? They, they, they've, they've changed it. It's a little bit cleaner. A little bit cleaner. <laughs> yeah. little bit cleaner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, it's, uh, it, was, it was cool to be able to get back to the G. And um, I suppose hold the Premiership Cup, which um, I suppose when you're finished and washed up, you feel like you're never going to touch another one. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, um, it was good. One. Hear that? Another one. Oh, well, yeah. but, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a real honour. It is, isn't it? It's yeah. a great honour. Yeah, Andrew Dillon gave us a buzz yeah, about a how month do you, and a bit how ago. How do they choose? How do they, how do they decide? Who I wants don't to know. Be in? I'm still trying to figure that out why they pick me. But um, no, Andrew Dillon gave us a call and asked us, um, yeah, I'd, I'd be able to do the, I suppose, be the ambassador. And yeah, I've, <laughs> I was pretty pretty chuffed. And um, to be able to even sit on, you know, kind of stage yesterday with, you know, David Park and yeah. Fred Waller. Yeah. Um, Stevie J's doing the Norm Smith. Like, I, I, I felt like I was a bit silly sitting out there with those guys because 
you know, sort of legends. Place. But um, but no, it's 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 a it's a pretty big honour, and to be able to be a part of Grand Final Day, yeah. um, and bring the cup out on the ground. Yeah. So um, you'll you'll be walking it out. I'll on walk the big it day. out to the yeah the representatives of the two teams. will pick you know the representative who they want. Yeah. If they win, Do they you, get the cup. Are you the one who has to tie the ribbons on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I see that in the contract. I might be able to get that. Yeah. JK, it is a fantastic mm. honour. That 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 is so beautiful. Mm. But um, I wanted to ask. Uh, what is what, what is it like to touch one? <laughs> <laughs> is it a paid position? Mate, mate, I will, uh, yeah, is it a paid position? Do they? What happens? Uh, here? You get you get some free flights over to Melbourne, and yeah. you get to stay up in Crown. So it's um it's pretty nice. Do they to take care to... of your room service? Good question. Oh, well, hopefully they do. Yeah, I didn't, you, I didn't, didn't even think about that. Like, what, what have you done? Proud. I won't ask him. I'll just, I'll just load it up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to have a nine hundred dollar yeah. table right <laughs> bill? <laughs> Did you fly at the pointy end of the plane as well? By the way, uh, no, 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 oh, no. I'm I'm just, just, no, I'm not a fan of the people. No, you're joking. Yeah, but you're a big tall fella. In the exit seat, mate. It's it's good. It's enough room. Did you get the exit right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, isn't it great when you get exit right, which is firstly score, but then secondly, someone the seat next to you is free as well. Oh, it's the best ever, isn't it? It's basically like having the whole plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so <laughs> it's, great. It's, it's the poor man's business yeah, class, yeah. Lay down for no, a sleep. No, if there was a crash, you're just not going to wake up. <laughs> you you know what my poor man's business class is? And Sean laughs all the time. I've got this one blue hoodie that I use when I fly because it's got an extra big hood. So once I get on the plane, I put my sunglasses on, I put the hood over there, and then suddenly I'm in my own room. Ah, poor man's, it's poor man's yes, business nice, class. Yeah, nice. Yeah. JK, it's going to be great when you uh, go around to the schools because all the kids get pumped. Yep. Do your kids see you on TV walking around with this? Do they get excited? Are they impressed? Yeah, well, yeah, I, don't, I assume they would have seen something maybe last night. Yeah. They'll, they'll probably see some photos now. But, yeah, the, the kids were real young in 18, so Sage could fit in the actual yeah. cup back then, so she uh, she won't be able to fit in this one. But um, You should try. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, you, donate, we'll donate money to charities. You can get it all the way in. Yeah, Sage all the way in. Yeah. Are you like Sean in that you just constantly show your children highlights of your career? Or? Uh, not yet, not yet. But I, yeah. I feel like it's coming. Yeah, I feel like I feel it's coming. Well, yeah. Sage, me young, like the youngest, her favourite player is Jake Waterman. So she loves yeah. snakes. I mean, so. yeah. Loves so it, it's loves switched a, off for me. Yeah, goal kicker, yeah, so, so you know. she's straight onto onto Jake now. So yeah. I assume there'll be yeah some highlights coming soon. While we've got you in here, and I asked you this question in front of people before, can you tell everybody about the story when your daughter? I used the Josh Kennedy name to get out of something at school. <laughs> Why are you ringing that up? <laughs> it's funny as. Uh, young one, she she was getting in trouble a little bit, and then yeah, she just she snapped back at the teacher and said, "Well, I'm Josh Kennedy's daughter. You don't have to tell me what to do." Yeah. And, well, she's right. And, yeah. and, and and I was horrified. Obviously, you got this text from the teacher, which you know we obviously got relationships with the teachers back there. And anyway, yeah. So I went to school with with with, with one of the teachers that was actually teaching her, and yeah, it just it was <laughs> so embarrassing. And I was like, I'm not, I don't know where it came from as well, because like <laughs> my kids aren't proud enough to say no. My that's name. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone's kids have admitted that. We're just catching up with Premiership hero Josh Kennedy, and he's telling us what he's doing up in Geraldton. Uh, now, how's life for you uh, post football? Because of course you've moved up to Geraldton. Yep, yeah. So back home, we've been home since the end of twenty two. So since I finished. So yeah, and and my family's all up there. Lauren's family's there. Um, yeah, the kids are growing up with their cousins. You know, with their nan and pop and their aunties and uncles. So it's um it's it's pretty cool to be able to be back home, close to the family friends. And yeah. um, most of the, my friends of you know who've got kids are all similar age, and they're going to school together now. And, and you're kind of watching them, you know, play off of school yeah. on the weekends. And, and it's a yeah. similar upbringing to it what is, you had. Yeah, yeah, it is. We were in Northampton, so we're yeah. in Geraldton now, so there's a bit more. We've got two Maccas and two HAs. Oh, and stuff. Oh, so, hey, yeah, he's so, showing off. Yeah, hey, hey, so there's, don't talk it up. What did you just tell me before? Because I asked him if he likes coming to Perth, and he said it is good to get Uber Eats. And I was like, <laughs> do you not have Uber Eats in Geraldton? And you said what? Oh, uh, we don't have, no. You get takeaway, you get takeaway but there's no delivery. you got to live within 10 minutes of the actual yeah. place. And yeah, what, what, that, what yeah. do you do? Are you you can't get a, it delivered. Are you semi-rural? Are you, you out? How many no, minutes away? It's just, Ger- it's just Geraldton. So, how, yeah. how, many so minutes, it's, it's, how many minutes are you away from delivery? Uh, um, well, from in town, we're probably about 15 minutes. So, yeah, we're outside of that. So, they just won't deliver. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. You, you end up, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's you cook more and you eat more, yeah. like at home, which is nice. Yeah. Josh, like up, apart from um, doing this tour, you've got so many hands in businesses these days. And I want to know about your well, foundation. Uh, yeah, so the foundation's been, um, been going for a few years now. 
which is great. We've been able to access some more funding from um, um, some fantastic people. And I've got a full-time staff um, on in Geraldton now. So Mick's on and he's been able to, um, I suppose, deliver what we've kind of wanted to do. So we run sporting scholarships for country kids to be able to get them to events and uh, everything uh, in terms of a, a pathway to whatever sport they like. Has to, you know, go to Perth or overseas or yeah, there's a yeah. There's a, the travel. So it's a big thing on families, um, you know, with everything that goes on these days with the economy. So we, we, we help a lot of kids get to those events. And then yeah. we also run after school activities, um, you know, one in Kalbarri. We do some stuff in Mullawar and the regional, regional towns. And um, and then we have services around that that kind of help out, you know, with the kids and, and, and making yeah, sure checking in and seeing impact, how they're going. It? So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. And, and like I said, to be able to have, um, I suppose, funding now to have a full-time staff on the ground in Geraldton, seeing a lot of stuff being delivered now, which is which is fantastic. I want to talk back about the cup. Um, so uh, a bouncer came in, a, play, a plain clothes bouncer, mm. so he didn't intimidate us. <sighs> and I saw just before you came in, he was giving me some last-minute words about the cup. What are the rules with the cup? When you are walking around with a car, well, don't drop it. Is, is <laughs> number one, number don't, one, drop, one the don't drop it. That was it. advice from David Parkin too, wasn't it? Because yeah, that, was that would dent, yeah. wouldn't it? Would it? It would dent. It's, yes. yes, it would. Yes, yeah. 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 Right. So I think it's, it's pretty expensive as well. So, right. so yeah. don't drop the cup. What's don't the drop it. What's so the so obviously minimise the touches. So which so I'm allowed to, to especially from Dockers players. But I think uh, once the, it starts to get into, I suppose, more crowded and gloves, like at a are, school, gloves are necessary. Yeah, yeah. The kids are going to gonna be all over it, surely. Know, would, 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 like, the security um, briefcase of the president with the nuclear arms codes, would it be handcuffed to you at ever? Oh, I don't sometimes? know if it would be handcuffed. But it or do, maybe it, it with you lying in the bedroom? Case. It does have a big case. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> it does. It's got a massive so case. So where does it sleep at night? Does it go into its case it and then that's locked? It goes into its case and then, yeah, yeah, it's probably going to be handcuffed to me. I didn't even think about that. Are you allowed to drink from it? Uh, I reckon that is definitely number one no. But, but on game on the day, day, are you allowed to drink? Well, on it's it? not going to be mine. I won't be winning. I know, yeah. but so once it's won <laughs> it by drunk someone, from, eh? JK drank from it. You, in 2018, you drank from the cup, surely? Yes, yes. Yeah, we definitely drank from it. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, we we had a few. We um, know. Yeah, soft drinks. From <laughs> it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay for liquids to come out of it. Liquids just can't go into it. And just just to go on about what happened uh, on on the news last night, you got yeah. a fair bit of mentions backing in Coxie to be a coach at some mm. stage. Yeah, all right. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I said I would. Because they, they just like, cut. I said I they would, just cut. Yeah, 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 of course they yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you're certainly back. <laughs> you say to that the news and, and media edits things. Yeah, they do sometimes. Cut that out, cut Harry. That out. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.